The ARTES project is the Advanced Research in Telecommunications Systems and uh, the ARTES 8 programme, which is the one that LiveWire Digital are involved with, is in relation to AlphaSat, which is one of the most advanced telecommunications satellite currently in space. As part of a European Space Agency contract, LiveWire Digital has developed Netcaster, an application that runs on an iPhone or iPad that seamlessly connects to a satellite terminal, allowing the user to talk with a central location. The user can choose to send back a form of rich media, so it could be live video or a live sequence of stills, depending on the bandwidth that's available. Or it could be stored video or photographs you recorded earlier. Currently, you can have up to six users sending content. The content being received can then be mixed live using Netcaster Producer to create a show. Uh, has the expedition been a success so far? I think it's, so, it's exceeding all of our expectations. I mean, LiveWire Digital have a lot of experience in the maritime environment with races such as the Volvo Ocean Race, the Vendée Globe, Barcelona around the world. We've often been asked what can be done for the shorter events where there are both technical and logistical problems. Here we see Netcaster as being a natural fit. Well, Rolex Fastnet race starts in Cowes and sails around the Fastnet Rock and finishes in Plymouth. You know, it's not just a sail to the Fastnet Rock. People are racing hard for a trophy. So actually allowing people to see what's going on in the boats that's really important and I think that will extend to other races. One of the key things we see about Netcaster is immediacy. Um, it's very easy to take your iPhone out of your pocket, but if you've got to go and set up a camera, set up a laptop, that becomes complicated and, and you lose that immediacy. It makes it a simple solution. If it's simple, it means they'll do a lot of it and therefore we'll get more stuff and the viewer will be able to see what, more of what's going on. If an incident happens, or they get a nice bit of movie, or they get some dolphins on the shot, or, or they fix an engine, or they have a particularly nice catch of fish, or they hit a whale, all those stories which happen, uh, if they've got an instant connection, then obviously the media can get that uh, more quickly. And in this ever popular world of uh, instant ratification in terms of media exposure and distribution, then that's very important, yeah. It doesn't matter that we're out of range. In Marsat have sorted it all out and it's still just as easy. So we can video conference, we can link to TVs, we can link to newsrooms, and now everybody can experience what I'm going to go through on this machine in the Fastnet race. In this race, we had a very nice chat uh, with uh, one of the boats as they approached the Fastnet in very light conditions, actually. And we were able to, whilst talking talking to them, they can show us what they're seeing and the other boats around them. Uh, so it, it enables the journalists certainly to be able to visualise and actually see uh, what they're doing. We envisage Netcaster being used by a whole range of different organisations, uh, event organisers, uh, NGOs, situation awareness, so people like police, the fire brigade, um, as well as for the mainstream broadcasters.